when when I was in government, I very much thought that that um, the the U.S. had too many expectations about what it could achieve in Afghanistan. If the U.S. had waited for the pull out to the end of the fighting season, none of this would have happened. I mean, it might have happened next year, right? But none of it would have happened now. Uh, so, so, you know, on the other hand, hindsight's always twenty twenty, yeah. And I don't think the Biden government believed until very recently that the Afghan government was going to collapse in the way it did. So, uh, and I think that, that the intelligence, what I gather, because I'm not in it anymore, but what I gather is that, that the intelligence also up until very recently felt that the government was very vulnerable, but didn't see the, so I think the collapse of Kabul, people did not foresee. And I would include in that, uh, I don't think that the Taliban believed it either. When the Taliban began its offensive, you know, six or seven weeks ago now, uh, I, I don't think their expectation at all was that in this fighting season, they were going to take over the country. I think that the collapse took everybody by surprise. And of course, it was a little bit like a snowball rolling down a hill. Uh, once it began to happen, and I mean, I was frankly surprised, and I think the Afghan government was as well, at the ability of the Taliban to simultaneously uh, go after so many regional capitals that that uh, and that that probably was something of an intelligence failure. If Americans begin to lose their lives in Afghanistan, then Biden is in big trouble. If Americans are left behind in Afghanistan, Biden yeah. is in big trouble. There is definitely concern here among U U.S. allies. Uh, and there's also, I mean, the Europeans are very upset about this because none of the moves around Afghanistan that Biden made uh, were undertaken in consultation with with the Europeans, mm -hmm. uh, and um, the 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 Europeans were very upset when Biden announced this withdrawal several months ago, uh, and basically from their perspective, right, their views will have been reinforced by the events of the past week or two. Right. That, that that so so the Europeans thought, what are the Americans doing? Why didn't they talk to us? That's really stupid. And that view is dramatically reinforced. I was watching um, a couple of days ago. I spent a little while watching the debate in the British Parliament. Uh, and whoa, I mean, the the anger, the anger there towards towards the U.S. and towards Biden was, was really palpable. Mm -hmm. uh, so has this been, been a negative more broadly for the United States? Absolutely. There's no question about that.